So before I start this video, I'm actually filming this in the future because the actual footage that you guys will be seeing today, which is a very good squat session with the guys, was filmed last week on Saturday. Today's Wednesday of the week after. Thing is that I ran into a little hiccup with my camera. It just, every problem just kept snowballing and uh, yeah, I had to wait till today to finally shoot the, the intro and the outro of the video because I couldn't do it before. Thing is that I started shooting on Saturday, so I just decided to take the camera to the to the gym. Um, I really wasn't feeling like sh like shooting, but there was a lot of uh, a lot of the guys were in, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna shoot uh, some raw footage here of us squatting and training, whatever, and then I'll see, you know, what can I come up with and and you know plug into the video. But thing is that when I came back home and I started editing the videos, I realized that the audio was complete crap. So I mentioned in my last video that I was having issues with the microphone. Uh, well, at least I thought it was a microphone. No, so wait. Yeah, I have, was having issues with the microphone, but initially I thought it was just a cable of the microphone. So what, what happened was that, oh my God, this camera is heavy. I'll tell you why now. But uh, yeah, what happened was that I got uh, a new cable. So I changed the cable. The, the, problem was, the problem was still there with the audio. So I had to get a new mic. So I got a new mic with a new cable and I was like, that's perfect, no problem solved. I got to the gym on Saturday, I filmed. When I came back, the problem was still going. So it was not the cable, it was not the mic. It was the camera, apparently. The body of the camera. So I was like, damn, I'm gonna have to get a new camera or get it fixed. So I went on and I got a new camera. The camera came in. On Monday, and I was like, you know what, perfect. I'll just shoot the intro and, and close the video. But when the camera body got home, I realized that the lens that it had didn't fit the camera. So I was like, oh my God, I just, I'll need to get a new lens. I went on online, I got a new lens delivered for the next day on Amazon. I, play, I paid a little bit extra, but you know, I just wanted it uh, straight away. So I got a Sigma lens delivered to me on Tuesday. It came here in the evening, that was yesterday, so I was like, let me shoot the, <laughs> the intro and everything about the video. When I tried to connect the lens into the body of the camera, it didn't connect as well, so it wasn't, for the, it wasn't built for this camera, so this is the Canon R6. So my god, I had to go online and figure out what was happening. Um, unfortunately, for the, the R line or the R mount of, of the Canons, Sigma doesn't make any lens, so you need to get an adapter unless you have an, an EF mount type of camera, which is not my case. So I had to get an adapter online that, that night, delivered the next day, which is today. So I finally got the adapter now. I got the new lens, I got the new camera. Everything is new here and it looks sick. Like the camera is sick, the quality, the video quality is sick, the lens, everything is sick. The only issue is that this, this thing weighs about 15 kgs, I'm not joking. This thing is massive, it's very good, but it's way too heavy for vlogging and, and stuff. But it is what it is, you know, I'm not gonna spend any more money finding new lenses or anything, I'll just stick to this. It's huge, I'll show you guys. But yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, the thing is that the footage, as I said, came out with um, a lot of issues, especially in the audio. So I had to kind of pick and choose, you know, the parts of the video that were worthy to put, include into the video. And then I left some of the audio in, but then I had to remove most of the audio. So I just put some music in there. So yeah, it's kind of a mashup of, of, of our training, really. But it's a good video, it's, it's really fun to watch. So if I were you, I would definitely stick around and see the video. And I will also drop the video a like, because it's a cool video. I'll let the clips roll now. And yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy them. And please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. So, thank you guys.
uses it for the light, for the light warm-ups, and then he removes it.
felt a little bit better so it is true that the flats put a little bit less strain on the on the on the patella I guess but I'm still gonna do my I'm gonna do my meat and my top sets always with the heels because I feel a little bit more power of the hole and I feel I can control a little bit better it is what it is
That was a very, very good session. Now we're heading off to Blue Waters because I need to buy. I need to get my my wedding suit. So I need to get the measurements and all that stuff. So we need to actually run there because they close. They're gonna be closing very soon, so we're just gonna get head off to Blue Waters now. Whenever the jacket is on bottom, it's gonna still keep that shape, okay? Okay. Yeah. So just the top button. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is top button. Yeah. Right. And I'm just gonna pin it for you now, okay? Yeah. You want you want it quite fitted? Yes, as much as possible. Yeah, that's fine. That Remember that you have to eat this day. No, no, no. Just so I know how much to pin it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the fitter the better, but I know my yeah. body shape is a weird one to get fit onto. <laughs> um, if it's, is it for a wedding, isn't it? It's for a wedding. Since yeah. it's for a wedding, the rules aren't as strict. If it was going to be for like a black tie event, I would say black. don't yeah, do it. Yeah. If it's for a wedding, it can be a bit more pleasant. You can have oh, okay. it on a so that's how it would fit. The right arm here. And I'm gonna shorten it a little bit here on the on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It fits really well around the shoulders. Yes, it, it feels well on the shoulders. Yeah. It feels well on the arms. A little bit tight on the on the bicep. Yeah. On the bicep. I can. I feel comfortable. Yeah. That's. I'm never gonna be perfect in this. Yeah. I know that. Uh, taste the fact, but yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no worries, that's fine. So, whenever you want to change, I'll just put that for the system. Lovely, okay. thank you very much. That last clip uh, sizing the, the tuxedo that was filmed with the iPhone because I was so sick and in a bad mood because of the mic that I was like, fuck it, I'll just you know grab the, the iPhone and, and shoot with the iPhone. And it, it was actually not that bad, you know, the, the quality on today's iPhones and, and, and smartphones is incredible. Like, the video reel is just as good as any other camera. Like, in general, like, high-level view, it's, it's incredible, the quality of the video that comes out. That was sizing my tuxedo for my wedding because I'm getting married <clears throat> the end of, in the end of July. This is the third time we've postponed the wedding. So hopefully the third one is the last one. Hopefully we get married this July. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit more information about it in the next video. Three, two weeks out now, not even two weeks, a little bit less than that. Probably 10, no, not 10, 13 days, 12 days out, whatever, from the British Nationals. Very excited, I'm starting to get nervous. Friday and Saturday, the biggest sessions before the meet. So hopefully there's gonna be some interesting things there to shoot and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys, I'll do some videos about that. So. so thank you very much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff because I really need the algorithm to pick up the videos. And yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support and have a good one.